Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to uncap your FPS in Apex. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Okay, first of all, a little disclaimer. Apex is actually self-capped at 144 hertz. That means that you have to uncap it in Apex itself first. To do this, it's actually fairly easy. We're just gonna open up the launcher. Depends on if you have Steam, Origin, or EA. I'll go through each one of them. So first, what we're gonna do is open up Steam, Go to the library, right click on Apex Legends, go down to properties. Down here in the launch options, all you need to do is copy paste the plus FPS underscore max space unlimited. This is going to uncap your FPS. This is just going to let Apex know that your FPS is uncapped. It could be capped in a few other places. I'm just going to close down this here. The EA app is the same. All you have to do is go to your install games, click on it, go to manage view properties, and down in advanced launcher options, just paste plus FPS underscore max space unlimited and click save. Once that's done, you can load up the game and check to see if your FPS is uncapped. If it's still stuck at 144 hertz though, you may have a few other things left to do and I'll go through those now. Okay, so once you have the unlimited FPS set in either Steam or Origins or EA, depending on what you use, it'll be the same command in the launch options for any one of those programs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to NVIDIA control plan panel and give it an open. Do keep in mind that your FPS will be capped to the hertz of your monitor if you have vSync on anywheres. So once we load up NVIDIA control panel, go down here to the manage 3D settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and where it says vertical vSync, we want to make sure this is turned off. This is so that our graphics card isn't limiting our FPS and then just click OK or save. The next place to do this is in the game. Go in and launch your Apex. Once Apex is loaded up, all we need to do is go over to the settings, go to settings, Go over to video settings and scroll down. Make sure that VSync is disabled. Another one here is adaptive resolution FPS target. I put this to zero and use TSAA. Uh, I find this here limit your FPS and if you have this here set it will it will stay that FPS when you load the game up. So make sure that this here is zero and make sure that you disable VSync inside the game. Then we can go give it a test. To give it a test, I suggest going to the firing range just to make sure that when you set your FPS up, that it's not going to hitch and stuff. One of the things about oncapping your FPS is you will notice the lag spikes a little bit more. VSync kind of smooths them out so you don't notice them as much. So some people don't like it, so just keep that in mind. Make sure you give it a test first. You don't want to be in uh, ranked in the middle of doing this, so <laughs> do keep that in mind. All right, and if you have something like a 3070, 3080, you should definitely be seeing a full 300 FPS. You can see it over there in the in the corner, even though my ping is bad. All right, so once you've checked your FPS and you know that it's good, okay, so in here, we're just gonna check our FPS. Uh, to see the FPS there on the on the right-hand side, so if you didn't know how to do that before, I guess I should've mentioned that before I said go test your FPS. Uh, to see your FPS, just go into your settings, go into gameplay, scroll down in, until you find it here. It'll just be performance display and make sure that's turned on. That'll help you see any of your like drop frames, your FPS, or any of your losses or choke. But there you go, that's as easy as it is, is just adding a launch option and making sure your VSync is not set. I hope this here gets your FPS on cap and gets you going in your Apex. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.